Hello guys, it's here, and this will be part two of my thoughts of the backwards compatible for current gen system, which are of course the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X, and, and of course in 2017, as of right now, the Nintendo Switch. So the previous video I talked about was the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series XS will have back compatible. The level of it is different. As of right now, Microsoft has the advantage because you can play original Xbox game 360 and Xbox One. However, I kind of found out that it's 99% even with all those generations because uh, I'm going to give credit to Alex Valid, tournament organizer of Wednesday Night Fight. He apparently he tried playing Street Fighter Cross Tekken for the 360 and it didn't work on his Series X so I guess it's 99% but still it's better than PlayStation which is of course only PS4 and as well 99% because there are games delisted that you can't play and unfortunately apparently some Assassin's Creed game also you can't play such as Syndicate which is one of my favorite one it's actually fun and the spin-off Chronicles Assassin's Creed game China, India, and Russia, fortunately, but again, it is what it is. According to Ubisoft for that one, they say they'll find a fix, but whatever, that's a different story there. But still, both of them have back to compatible, which is a good thing. Now, moving forward is the Nintendo Switch. Of course, if you have the Nintendo Switch, battery life, improvement, or the light, you know it's not back to compatible. And of course, you say, well, you can play NES and SNES games. Well, true, emulator. Switch Online program makes sense there, so sort of, but as of right now, you can't play Wii U games. And like I said in my rewind, at least have one generation down for backwards compatible. The Wii U was able to play Wii game, granted, I had some uh, convoluted OS system operation procedures. Let's go with that one. It was convoluted to some extent with the Wii. At least it makes sense, it was actually fluent with the GameCube. And of course, like I said, the GameCube, there were talks, but then nothing happened there. But that's the GameCube. Of course, now there's been rumbling also that the Switch Online might even add N64, GameCube in the future, but as of right now, not set in stone. However, there have been one talks that I never really give my opinion. Of course, if you follow certain people such as RGT85, Nintendo Prime, Player Ascent. They've been talking about this Switch Pro, so there have been hints, there have been rumors, there have been insiders that said that in March of 2021, Nintendo somehow might reveal a Nintendo Switch Pro, which is a better version. Again, whatever it is true, cool, if it's not, it is what it is there. But the problem as of right now is the Switch is not back compatible. So, how do you do it? Well, there was a rumor in the past that said that they might be able to do it digitally with the Wii U. So, sound familiar? Yes, you know, um, the Vita kind of did that. That's compatible, however, only digitally because they didn't bring out the PSP to the Vita program because they said no one's going to use it because no one wants to double dip or converting it from physical to digital. So, they just said, I'd screw it, which is again. Sony, screw you. So that was one of the rumors, but right now that's the situation. So the thing is, I'm gonna talk about a wish list of what I want for Nintendo. So first of all, if they're gonna do this Switch Pro in 2021, hopefully there is some sort of able to play digitally Wii U game. So I do have some, but most I got physical games. But again. Uh, better than nothing. However, another thing, and I'm going to give credit to Push Dustin. I did try to find his Twitter post about this one, and I like what he said. So, for people who don't know what I'm talking about, he said it was a post that Push Dustin did. Can I give his thoughts on the rumored Switch Pro and said, kind of makes sense to have three different tier for Switch. So, you have the regular Switch, which is sort of the balance, so you can play it on the go or on TV. You don't need high power, you just want fun. Or if you want a just mobile switch, just play it on the go on the toilet. Mostly for the casual or people who like mobile style gaming. So that's the keyword, mobile style, not mobile game. 
then you have the Switch Lite. So he even said that maybe it would make sense if Nintendo kind of do, and I know people probably get pissed about this because it kind of beats the purpose what the Switch is. I mean, the Switch Lite kind of beat the purpose, but what if you can go the other way around? And I'm just going to call this right now, I'll dub it the Switch Heavy. Because, you know, light heavy. I know it's weird, but let's just go with Switch Heavy, or better yet, better yet, been using this from the Wii U games. The Switch Deluxe. So, Deluxe. Hashtag Deluxe. So, Push Dustin basically said, what if they have some sort of a TV-only Switch that's capable with beyond 1080p? Heck, it could go 4K because that's the rumor. They even have like a rumor about Switch portable console to be 4K. But again, different story there. But what if it's just a TV only that can go 4K? Imagine playing Super Smash Brother Ultimate in 4K. For me personally, I think I like that because I'm an OG. I mean, it's kind of handy playing it on the go, the Switch. But I know that's the main factor there. Is that, you know, you play it on the go. But what Push Dustin is saying is that it kind of makes sense for the Ultimate Hardcore. So what if you're a person you're hardcore but you still want that portability so he also even said that and i kind of agree what he said it's kind of like he's reading my mind but of course he got the idea so credit to push dustin is that what if they should do also a dock that's also play 4k and then you can dock it with your switch or your 4k switch i might like that one so the thing that maybe a wishful thinking for this part is that one or two things, like I said, with this Switch Pro or Switch Deluxe or whatever rumor they're calling it, is one thing that I said makes sense that Push Dustin said. Maybe just a TV only, it's just a box that plays 4K, Switch games, and there you go. And it's also back compatible with the Wii U at least. Even better, Wii and GameCube, but uh, that's going too far. Probably Nintendo can't do that. Or another thing is some sort of dock that is a system as well so imagine maybe just a tv only or a dock type switch that you still can use your switch you know and then dock it but then this dock plays wii u games gamecube games and wii games and then all your games your collection from the wii the wii u you can play it on the particular dock you can transfer them Maybe I would like that if it's possible, but I don't think Nintendo's gonna go that approach. My guess is if they're gonna do a back compatible feature on the Switch, it's probably gonna be just downloadable on Wii U games and that's it. So what happened to the virtual console for the Wii, the WiiWare games? Well, you're tough luck. I mean, you gotta keep in mind a lot of these businesses. They don't really care about you preserving your older games. Because to some extent, when push comes to shove, you're like, you, you already played it, so when you want to play it again, I mean, potato, potato, oranges, and apple. I mean, you have your own different opinion, but I mean, in, when it comes to the perspective of business, yeah, it kind of makes sense. And I don't agree with it, but it kind of makes sense there. Uh, but yeah, so for me, if they are going to do this Switch Pro, like I said, things that I would want to see myself. Personally, it's just me wishful thinking, fantasizing if either one uh, TV only switch that plays also Wii U games or two a dock that can play Wii U games at the same time you can still have that switch so you can you know do the switch thing or the third one is both so what am I saying both so have a Switch Pro console, the handheld console, but then you also have that dock that can play Wii U games. So, all, let's just say the Switch um, games, it'll be in a SD card and it's still attached to the Switch. However, when it comes to the Wii U games, then it's on that console itself. So, if you want that second screen experience with the Wii U, well, the dock is a system and you have the Switch as a system. So, there you go. I mean, you could probably say Nintendo Land Flux, just saying there, but again, that's only wishful thinking. I don't think Nintendo's going to do that. But yeah, I mean, that's my thoughts on what Switch does said and my fantasy about Switch being back compatible. Chances are the 
safe way for them is digital Wii U games, whatever digital you bought, that's it. And I mean, they're not gonna do some weird conversion because that's gonna be a pain in the butt. I mean, literally, that means they have to create a program for people that only have the Wii U. I don't know. But my fantasy idea is that a dock that's also a Wii U system to some extent. But like I said, if you're gonna need that gamepad controller, then that's the Switch. I'm just saying they'd probably add like an app, whatever. I don't know. So we'll just wait and see in 2021 right now. The is only focusing on releasing games, finishing the Super Mario Brothers anniversary, and then of course in 2021 the Legend of Zelda. So we'll just have to wait and see that one. But hopefully, maybe in the long run, that there will be a Switch that is backwards compatible. Right now, it is sort of backwards compatible well, with the deluxe games Super Mario Land U, Pikmin 3 Deluxe, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, uh, of course, Bayonetta 2 with new features, or Hyrule Warrior, or. Tokyo Mirage FE, the censored game, I know, or especially coming in with Water 2021, Super Mario Bros. 3D World and Bowser's Fury, so we'll just have to wait and see that one, so yeah, I mean, Nintendo, they're still drumming to their own drum, ah, well, we'll just have to wait and see, but hopefully, like I said, maybe with the Switch Pro, there will be some sort of back to battle, we'll just have to wait and see, so with that, I'll see you guys later.